Good morning students. In this class, I will be doing class 10, Samachir Kalvi syllabus or matriculation syllabus. Third chapter, Algebra exercise 3.8. In this exercise, in first subdivision, four sums are there. Already I have completed. Fourth sum I will give in the description box. Finding the square root using long division method that I have completed already. That fourth sum I will give in the description box. You can check. Now, second subdivision will start. Find the values of A and B if the following polynomials are perfect squares. That means, when you we have to find the quotient, the remainder will be equal to 0. But here we are having for x, another variable b is there and one more variable a is also there. So, we are asked to find the value of a and b. That is, after getting the remainder that has to be equated to 0. Since it is given that it is a perfect square. So, we will find the perfect square using long division method. So, 4x power 4 minus 12x cube plus 37x squared plus bx plus a. So, this is the question. So, here 4x power 4 is there. So, we will take 2x squared into 2x squared. So, when we multiply this, we will get 4x power 4. Okay. So, when we subtract this, this will get cancelled. Then, we will bring the remaining, the next two terms will bring it down. So, minus 12x cube plus 37x squared. So, here the quotient has to be multiplied by 2. So, it will be 4x squared. So, here if we multiply by minus 3x, here if we multiply by minus 3x, this first term will get cancelled. That is 4 3s are 12. Minus 12, x squared into x is x cube. Then, minus into minus is plus 3 3s are 9, x into x is x squared. Okay. So, now, when we subtract this, this first term will get cancelled. Then we will get, first term will get cancelled. Then we will get 37 minus 9 is 28. So, plus 28 x squared we will get. Plus 28 x squared. Then we will bring the remaining two terms. Then that is plus bx plus a. So, now we will multiply this quotient by 2. So, we will get 4 x squared minus 6x. 4x squared minus 6x. Okay. So, if we multiply it by 7 plus 7. Plus 7 if we multiply we will get 7 4s are 28x squared. The first term will get cancelled. Then 7 6s are 42. So, minus 42x. Then 7 7s are 49. So, plus 49. Okay, so now when we subtract this, the first term will get cancelled. Here it is plus, then here it is minus. Okay, so here we will get b plus 42 into x. b plus 42 into x plus a minus 49. This is the reminder. That is, here b is there, here 42. It cannot be simplified. A variable and a number is there. So, b plus 42, we will write it as it is. Both are the coefficients of x plus a minus 49. Okay. So, now we are asked to find the value of a and b. In the question it is given, the given number is a perfect square. So, reminder will be definitely will be equal to 0. So, reminder is equal to 0. Reminder is equal to 0. So, here we got reminder as b plus 42 into x plus a minus 49. 49 we got. So, both has to be equated to 0. So, b plus 42 into x plus a minus 49 is equal to 0. Okay. So, both are equal to 0. So, that is b plus 42 is equal to 0 and a minus 49 is equal to 0. Okay. So, b value is equal to minus 42. b value is minus 42 and a value is 49. When we bring this minus 49 to that side, it will be plus 49. And here plus 42 to that side minus 42. So, we are asked to find the value of a and b. So, a value is 49. And B value is minus 42. Okay. Thank you.